Hi, this is Mike from Challenge Island, Oakland County. He's back with our Steamtastic Friday. We're in the middle of our pig series here at Challenge Island. So we've been having some fun over the last few weeks learning about the science of pigs, some of the technology that goes along with raising pigs. So today we're gonna to tackle engineering. So for today's challenge, we're gonna talk about something we can engineer to make pigs comfortable. And this is gonna be a fun one because this is something you can build at home along with me. So first, when engineers try to think or create something new, they have to think, okay, what does the customer need? In our case, the customer is gonna be pigs. So, so what would pigs need in a pig barn to be comfortable so they could live and grow up and be healthy in there? So here's the ideas we came up with. So, so we think we'd want them to have shelter, of course. We'd want them to have some fresh air so that they stay comfortable. We'd want them to stay warm, especially when it gets cold at night. A uh, place to sleep would sure be nice and some food. So, so as we're designing our pig barn today and engineering it, we want to be sure we get something for all those features in there. So if you haven't seen a pig barn, let me show you. Here's what a real one looks like. So we'll see how close we can come to this. So you can see here, we've got a big white building here. So this one could hold hundreds or even thousands of pigs in it. This would be a pretty big one. And then in the front of it, we've got what we call a feeder. So, so that would be like a, a silo that would hold the food for the pigs. So most pigs usually eat corn and soybeans that are ground up and mixed together. So we grind that up and put that in here. And then the, the pigs can, can get from that whenever they're hungry, they're gonna have something to eat. All right, so, so we're gonna work together and build our own pig barn today. Feel free to adjust yours a little bit if you have some better ideas, but let me show you how we're gonna do ours today. And I'd like to give credit to the Ohio Pork Council at ohiopork.org for the inspiration for this project today. If you'd like to learn some more fun things about pigs, feel free to check out ohiopork.org for, for some cool pictures and some fun information there. So here's what we'll need today. So, so, so what you'll want to round up is five business envelopes. So, so they'd be about, about this size. So they could be recycled from the mail, or you could just use some fresh ones, whatever you've got available at home there. I uh, will need a paper towel, and I'll show you where that fits in in a second here. Toilet paper roll, two straws, and then some paper and scissors and tape. So feel free to pause the video if you wanna go gather up those things, but that, that's what we'll need to get started. All right, so, so let me show you. So over here is our finished model. This is what our pig barn should look like when we're done. And again, if, yours, if you wanna make yours a little different or decorate yours a little nicer, feel free to go for that. So first thing we would do, so let's start out with the envelopes. So let's create the actual barn itself here. So, so like I said, we want five envelopes. So, so as you can see, we've got a long side, we've got a short side over here. To make that short side, that's gonna be about half of an envelope. So what we'll do is we'll take one of our envelopes, just fold it in half and then cut it. And that's what we'll use for the, the side of it. So let me go ahead and cut that. Okay, so, so those will be our two sides. Those are gonna go over here. And then we'll use two full-size envelopes to be the front and the back of it. When you look at the front though, if you look really close, you can see I've got an extra feature on the front here. This is what we call the curtain for the pig barn. So a lot, a lot of pig barns are designed as a, for, so that there's a way to let sunlight in. So especially when it's nice out, the pigs can get some sun and also let fresh air in. So, so we'll wanna put this on as well. So that when we open this, then the pigs can have some place to get their fresh air from. So, so we'll get to that in a second. So, so to make room for the curtain, we're gonna need a space for that, that curtain to open up and get some, some light in. So let's take one of the envelopes and we're gonna just cut a big rectangle into the front of it. So we got room for that, for that curtain to hang. So, so just take one of the envelopes and you wanna leave enough around the edges, maybe like an inch or so around the edges so that it stays sturdy enough so that it still holds up okay. So we'll just cut all the way around that here. Okay, so, so this, could be our, this could be the front of our barn where we're gonna hang that curtain. So what we need to do now, is let's, let's line up the four sides so that we can put together that whole bottom part of our pig barn. So, so we'll take our, take our curtain wall, so we're gonna lay that down on the table. Take one of our sides, lay that down as well. You know, lay down a fresh envelope, that'll be the back, so that'll, we'll keep that one together so it stays a little sturdier. We'll lay that one down. And then the other, the other half envelope that we cut earlier. So we'll put all those down. And here's where the tape comes in. So what we'll do is we'll tape the joints, we call it. So the places where those two walls come together to help hold it together. 
So I'll just get a nice big piece of tape across each of those. Then just make sure they stay lined up good, and then it'll it'll stand up a lot better when we're done here. So I'll just put those, put each of those chunks together here. And once we've got that together, so now we can just fold that around so that we make the four sides of our barn. So, so I'll bring that around like this, and then we can go and then we're gonna need to tape that last side together so it holds together. So I have to kind of hold that and wrap the tape around it. So that can go kind of like that. All right, so I've got the bottom of our barn. The next thing we need then is to get that curtain on there before we start putting too much on. So, so just take a regular piece of paper towel. This works really good for this. So you want to kind of you know, take a look at how big your envelopes are and then cut it to about the right size so it'll fit across that opening. Okay, I'll just kind of guess here. So I'll cut mine down a little bit. So probably something about this size. And then we would hang that across the front there and then just use a little bit of tape to hold that on the top. So that'd be like our hinge. In real life, we put some sturdy metal hinges on there to hold our curtain on, but tape's gonna work just fine for, for our barn for today. So, so we'll put that on. Okay, so there we've got our, our curtain wall. Okay, now I don't know if you saw in mind, if you've got some pigs at home, if you wanna make it a, a really fun, go ahead and put some pigs inside there and then they can start playing around inside there, see if they're comfy or not. So, so that'll be the body of it. And then the last thing we need is the roof for the shelter part. So if it rains or gets cold out, we need to be sure that they can stay comfy in there. So we'll take our last two envelopes, uh, just put them together, just lay them down on your table, and go and put a piece of tape across the middle of them. So, so to hold them together. So I'll show you that part in a second here. Okay, so that will be our, that'll be our roof then. So, so now we can bend that to however steep or how big we want our roof to be. So we would put that on like this, and then just tape around the sides to, to hold that roof in place. And then we would have our, have our pig barn. So, so that'll be the barn itself. Then the last feature that would be really fun to have is that feeder silo so that we can feed the pigs. And so here's what those look like, if you remember from that picture. So what we can do to make that, so, so the body of it would be our toilet paper roll. So we put that on. And then what we need to do is we need to make a kind of a cone for the top and a cone for the bottom. So that cone for the top is so that if it rains or snows on it, then stuff doesn't collect on there and gets too heavy, it might break it. So, so that'll, that's a good shape for the top, just like your roof at home has, has that kind of shape to it. And at the bottom is the dispenser where we would get the feed out of to deliver it into the barn. So, so we could do a little cone inside the bottom too to make that work. So for that, you'll probably want to experiment a little bit. If this takes a couple of tries, don't worry about it. It took me a little, couple of times to figure this out. So just take your paper, and what you probably want to cut is kind of a, kind of like a big slice of pie. So, so if you can see here, so we'll go ahead and yeah, just take a, a big slice and then just experiment with different ways to roll that together. So kind of like a little hat and then figure out, okay, what, how, how tall do I want it or how big do I want it to get it on there? Okay, so I'll show you here. So here's, for example, on the, the top could end up looking something like this. So we could put that on the top and then of course tape that on so it stays on good. Here's the cone I made for the bottom. And so that could slide up in here and you could put a little piece of tape in there to hold that in place. And so that would stay. And the last thing we need is we need to have it stand up. So, so it's up off the ground. So I've got room to reach in there and get the feed out to, to deliver it to the pigs. So what we would do for that, that's where our last ingredient, the two straws come in. So take each of your straws and these can be skinny straws or big straws. So we just want to cut those about in half. And then we would just tape them on to the, the sides of our silo to make the four legs there. So I won't make you watch me do that, but once you get those on, you might have to adjust them a little bit to make sure it stands up nice and straight. But once you get those put on, then that would look like that. All right, so, so once you've got all that together, you've got your silo, you've got your barn, of course, you can put your pigs in there and start playing with them. If you'd like to decorate it some more and you know add a little door onto it or some windows or some designs on the roof, feel free to do that too. So, so have, have some fun with that. So engineer your own pig barn and put your pigs in it and have a good time today. All right, with that, thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time.